It's A3 is a sprite animator who has over 400k subs and has been on YouTube for almost a decade. His videos mostly focuses on Mario doing his usual things and a few big trends like Baldi Basics, Uganda Knuckles, and Minecraft. His videos are somewhat decent but they seem to be rushed. Like, animation takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears during the making. The more you rush into making your videos, the less effort you put into them. There is one problem though. He copies from other people, and I don't mean by stealing someone's videos and re-uploading them to his channel. I mean by making the same video that was made by someone else. January 30th, 2018. Lokman made Super Uganda Knuckles Brothers. Two weeks later, A3 made Uganda Knuckles meets Mario. June 16th, 2018. It's A3 made a video called Baldi and Super Mario Brothers. A week before that, a sprite animator named Level Up made a video called Baldi would be OP in Super Mario Brothers. Notice the similarities? If Level Up and Lokman ever found out that you were copying from them, then they'd be really disappointed in you. I also forgot to mention that It's A3 never gives credit to Level Up when he uses his sprite of Baldi. Same for the other characters of that game. Like, dude, I know you used them in your videos for fun, but please, at least give credit to the person who made them. It's very important. I used to see a lot of comments calling Mel for that, but going back to his channel, despite the fact that his video still gets hundreds and thousands of views, the comments are scarce. I barely see people exposing him in the comments section. In fact, it's just little kids typing nonsense as usual when it comes to viral videos. I don't know how this happened, but it's either A3 or YouTube that nuked the comments. If it was A3 then, really? Can't you at least take a bit of criticism? It's A3 also made a video last July called Geometry Dash would be OP in Super Mario Brothers. And let me just say that the video is 100% inaccurate. It doesn't even follow Geometry Dash's logic. First of all, to state the obvious, there aren't any boss fights. In Geometry Dash, you can't stop and you can't go backwards. You can't even speed over gaps, and the only way you can jump over the gap is to activate the yellow pad. Mario shouldn't be climbing up pipes or walls, so if you crash into any obstacles, you have to start all over at the beginning of the stage. There aren't any checkpoints either, unless you're playing practice mode, where you can place the gems anywhere as a checkpoint. Everything in the video is just wrong. Actually, now that I think of it, do you even play Geometry Dash at all? When was the last time you played any of the games? I guess we'll never know. So, in conclusion, it's A3. I know that there are a few people on YouTube that inspired you to make more sprite animations, but please, try to come up with something that's more original, and please stop copying someone else's videos. That is the reason why people call you out for it. Please understand this. And at least try to put more effort in your videos. That's all I have to say.